Excel A-Level Maths Mechanics Summer 2019 Question 1. At time t seconds, where t is larger than or equal to zero, a particle p moves so that its velocity v meters per second is given by v equals 6 ti minus 5 t to the power of 3 over 2 j. When t equals zero, the position vector of p is minus 20i plus 20j meters. For part a, we need to find the acceleration of p when t is equal to 4. So we've been given the velocity. To find the acceleration from the velocity, we simply find the differential of it. So we are going to do dv by dt. So doing this, the 6t before the i, differential of that is just 6. Before the j, we've got 5t to the power of 3 over 2. So we multiply by the power and take 1 away from the power, which gives us 3 over 2 times 5t to the power of a half. Simplifying this gives us 6i minus 15 over 2 t to the half j. Now that we've found our formula for the acceleration, we just need to put in t equals 4. So our acceleration is 6i minus 15 over 2 times 4 to the power of a half j. Well, 4 to the power of a half is 2. So simplifying that gives us 6i minus 15j. For part b, we need to find the position vector of p when t is equal to 4. So we know our velocity is 6ti minus 5t to the 3 over 2j. So our position vector r is going to be our original position, r0, plus the integral of v dt. So in the previous question, we differentiated the velocity to get acceleration. This time we're moving in the opposite directions to get a displacement. We're going to integrate the velocity. So let's do that now. The integral of v with respect to t is the integral of 6ti minus 5t to the 3 over 2j dt. So integrating the i and the j separately, we get the integral of 6t is 3t squared. So remember, you just up the power by 1 divide by the new power. By that same reasoning, the integral of 5t to the 3 over 2 is we've got t to the 5 over 2. We divide the whole thing by the 5 over 2, which gives us 3t squared i minus 2t to the 5 over 2j. Now, normally with an integral like this, we'd have a plus c on the end. We don't need that constant on this one because that's basically where the r0 is coming in. So at t equals 4, which is the time given in the question, we know that r is going to be our starting place, minus 20i plus 20j, plus our integral of v with t equals 4 substituted in. So 3 times 4 squared i minus 2 times 4 to the 5 over 2j. So that last bit becomes 48i minus 64j. Bringing that all together gives us a position vector of 28i minus 44j. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.